assalam alaikum students i am your social study teacher today we are going to discuss about the chapter 3 our past and our present before going to this chapter let's start a game you must have played this game before that is name place animal thing and fruit i will give you some alphabets you have to write name city animal place and fruit in your notebook and the first letter that is i am going to give you is p you have to write name city animal place and fruit that begins with the p word and your time starts now i will wait for 20 seconds and after that you stop and your time starts now you have to write letter is p you have to write name city animal and place that start from the p letter 10987654321 stop it please stop please stop writing now discuss what you have write first i will tell what i have write i write pavan in the name column in the city column i write peshawar in animal column i write pigeon in place i write pakistan and fruit is going to be pear i hope you enjoy this game now let's continue our chapter 3 our past and our present in previous lecture we have discussed about our past and in this module we are going to discuss about the coming of islam to the sind the subcontinent as we know has many invaded many times by people from different areas they brought their cultures values and religions with them with the result that this area came under the influence of many religions it was not until ad 712 that it was exposed to a relatively new religion that was a islam ad 712 is an important year in the history of our region by that time sea trade had developed between india During the region of Umayyad Caliph Walid bin Abdul Malik Hajjaj bin Yusuf was appointed as the governor of the eastern province at that time Raja Dahir Abrahamin ruled Sindh Some pirates were active in the coastal areas there Ships carrying precious gifts from the Sri Lanka for Hajjaj bin Yusuf the governor of Iraq were looted by the pirates near the port of daibal on the coast of sindh hajaj asked raja dahir to free the ships and punish the pirates but raja dahir said he could not control the pirates in ad 712 hajaj sent 6000 selected sarayan and iraqi soldiers a camel corps of equal strength and a baggage train of 3000 camels to the sindh under the commander of his nephew and son-in-law Imaduddin Muhammad bin Qasim a young boy who was just 17 years old Muhammad bin Qasim this picture is is a picture of Muhammad bin Qasim Muhammad bin Qasim fight with the pirates and release the ship He successfully defeated the pirates and later brought whole area of Sindh and the parts of the Punjab as far as Multan under his control. The area stayed under Arab control for the next 300 years. He also brought Islam to the area and a faith spread throughout the Sindh and Punjab. So basically Muhammad bin Qasim brought Islam to the Sindh. and the results of the coming islam to the sin are hindus were treated kindly 
a fair system of the law was introduced which had no caste system native adopted the arabic script the area enjoyed a period of peace mosques were built and the islam spread pirates were defeated and trade increased with the southeast asia and china through arab ports and all this done because of the coming of islam to the sin and that is done by the muhammad bin qasim who brought islam to the sin this is your homework you have to write these questions in your copies please mention your topic that is the coming of islam to the sin with the blue color and the chapter is the our past and our present with also blue color and you have to write questions with the blue color and answer should be in pencil